Papillon dog tricks today. We have Marie, who is a Papillon who comes to us all the way from Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan. So we brought her up to be bilingual and speak Japanese and do her performance in Japanese tricks. You'll see she's wearing a kimono today from her sister. Her twin still lives in Tokyo and every year for her birthday sends her these beautiful kimono. So we're going to uh, get started here in just a second and I will say in advance, Watashi wa Nihongo ga umaku dekinai. And that's, you know, my apology, I don't speak Japanese that well. I speak it well enough to talk to Marie and to order at restaurants. That's about it. But, you know, we're going to show you the tricks that they can do. These are tricks you can teach your dog. They're easy. They're through positive dog training where you reward good behaviors that you want to see them do. And it just makes it so much fun for them. You'll see how much Marie enjoys it throughout the performance. And then once we are uh, done, we're going to bring through some of her Papillon friends to do a quick fashion show with the other kimono that they have today. And assisting me is my lovely wife, Beth. She will be doing translations with signs for the dog. So we will, we will see, um, we'll get started. So let me take Marie off her lead. She's very good. And we'll get her. <laughs> All right, Marie Chan. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is come here, which in Japanese is oire. And that's a very important thing to teach your dog. You always want them to be able to come, and you don't want to call them by name, because their name is just to get their attention. So let me get Marie over here, Marie Chan. And I'll get her to wait just a second. Marie Chan. Marie, oye. Idesio. And Idesio is, is good or thank you, Marie. I'm going to bring her over here and we're going to do the next of a typical dog trick and it's sit or swate in Japanese. So. That's something that's usually very easy to get your dogs to do because they will naturally plop themselves down on the ground. So, Marie Chan, swate. Idesio. And you also, particularly when we have a big crowd like we have today, it's important to keep your dog focused on you. So, what I tell Marie is, Womite, which means watch me. So, Marie Chan. Swate, Marie, Womite. Idesio, Marie Chan. So, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to walk through down, which is a little bit harder to teach your dog. They usually, if you try to get your dog to go into a downward position, they'll pop their their butt back up to look like they're doing the downward dog, and. We're going to use that. We're going to combine it with one of her favorite games, which is off and take it. And just before we do that, I wanted to explain off and take it is another really important thing to teach your dog because you might be out on a walk and your dog gets near something that they shouldn't or something yucky and you want to be able to tell them off and have them stay away from it no matter what it is. If it's food on the ground, another dog, you want to be able to have them respond. But again, with positive dog training, you're teaching them and rewarding good behavior. So even telling them off, you then make a reward of take it afterwards. So let's see if I can get Marie first to do her down. So Marie Chan, swate, sit. And then we're gonna do fuse for down. Marie Chan, fuse. I desu yo. And we're going to go from that to do off and take it. Off is dame or stop. And then take it is going to be haidozo or yes please. Reach in. Come here. Reach. Swate. Fuse. Reach in. Swate. Fuse. And I'm going to set her treat here on the ground. Reach in. Dame. Reach on, hi Doza! So, 
Next, let me show you a couple of just fun ones for her. These are also very easy ones for you to teach your dog. We're gonna have her do spins to the left and to the right. They're very easy to teach your dog because they will naturally follow the trick, or the treat, excuse me, as you can see she's doing right now. So what I will do is I'm going to tell her Hidari, which is left, and Migi, which is right. And then she will turn in those directions. So Marita, <laughs> Hidari this, Marita, Hidari. And then we'll do turn to the right. We will do Migi this. So, Migi. Now, in addition to being the smartest of the toy breeds, Papillon are fantastic at agility. So they love doing things like tunnels and ramps and jumps and they have made many champion dogs doing that. Marie loves doing tunnels, so we're gonna have her do some tricks going through the tunnels. I'm gonna use the command Haite, or enter or go in, and she will go into the tunnel to follow that. So let me get her here at this end. And before I send her through the tunnel, you might have noticed we have two different color exits. We have, um, actually, and I'm gonna change it around a little. We have a blue exit, Ao, and we have a purple exit, Murasaki. And we're going to see which one she chooses. So before I get her to go in, I want to see who thinks she's going to come out blue, Ao, and who thinks she's going to come out purple, Murasaki. Purple! So I, I, the, I hear Murasaki. Let's see what Marie will do. Marita. Haite. Oh, no. She says, I'm, well, technically this is kind of purple. <laughs> All right, Marie-chan, let's try that again. Marie-chan, haite. Oh. 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 and it was Murasaki. Marie-chan, where are you going? <laughs> Great, wait a minute. I'm over here. You want to say hi to every single doggy? I'm going to send her through the tunnel again, but this time we're going to move the small one. I think her kimono's bow is getting caught on it. So we'll just have her run through the tunnel a couple more times, and then I'll show you what I consider her most impressive uh, trick here in just a minute. And then we'll have our other Papillon come through. So Marie-chan, let's go through the tunnel again. Haite. Iidesio. And you see, you always want to reward as soon as they're done because it is fun for them and a game, and that's how we want to keep them engaged. So I'm going to move the tunnel back, and we're going to do a trick called the long stay. And this is also very important because if your dog were to happen to get out of the yard and maybe you're across the street and they come running towards you, you want to be able to tell them to stop and stay where they are and let you come get them. So for Marie, this is, she's usually very impressive with this one. I hope the crowd doesn't overwhelm her, but we should see. So Marie, so oh, you Swat them. And I'm gonna tell her, chota mate, or wait just a minute. So Marie, chota mate. going back the other direction because you always dogs don't generalize very well you want to be able to train them to okay. do things in different settings in different directions Levy. Levy. Swate. Levy. Mate. and you can see i'm kind of piling these tricks on or chaining them together that's a good way to get them to learn and to help generalize is build them together like this so mate. Oh, and this is what I said. Sometimes you get a little bit of trouble with them doing it both directions. Come here, Marie. Swate. Chotamate. Chotamate. Marie, lead it! 
So thank you, everyone. I'm going to introduce the other Papillon we have here in just a second, and we will walk through them. Let me get the names and information while Beth gets Marie ready here. So it's white. Sorry. He's a kisser. So first, no, 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 no. Okay. You want to kiss everybody I know, sweetie? First up, we are going to have pickle, and pickle today is handled by Ella. Ella is going to bring pickle out over here and let him show off a bit. Pickle is a 14-year-old sable papillon. That's the same type of papillon Marie is, brown and white on the head. His name was originally Mr. Parker, but we thought that was a little too formal, so we made it Pickle to be more casual. Next up, we have Robin, the boy wonder dog, or the boy dog wonder, excuse me. Uh, Robin is handled by Beth. He is a 16-month-old tricolor papillon, so he's got brown, uh, black, and white. And Robin loves riding Harleys. He came 200 miles um, on the bike to get here today, so you know, he, he is uh, quite, the, quite the adventurous papillon. Next up, we have Gracie who's handled by Kathy. Gracie is a 10-month-old tricolor. You can see there is a bit of variety in size among Papillon. Gracie and Marie are among the smallest we have. Um, Gracie is only four pounds, but she has an absolutely blood-curdling bark and can make a 200-pound man jump backwards in, in surprise. Next up, we have um, Kalev or Levy, um, handled by Adara. Levy is nine years old, is a double-coated tricolor, and he loves to do agility tricks. He has a trick called the dancing bear, which I think we're gonna see here, where he spins around on his back legs. Next up, we have Elio, or Elio, who is handled by Bella, and Elio is 11 years old, a single-coated tricolor, so we definitely have tricolors dominating the show today. Elliot, he Elliot has uh, collected a rabbit toy every year since his fir first birthday and loves puzzles, games, and food. And here we have one of his rabbit toys. Last but not least, we have Chance, who's our senior today. Chance is handled by my wife, Beth. He's 15, he will be turning 16 very, uh, a little bit later this summer. He's a hound tricolor, which means his head is a light brown instead of a dark brown. And he does turn 16 in July. So um, give, give all the Papillon a big round of surprise. I'm gonna have, uh, surprise, applause. We're gonna have them walk around in a circle just so you can see them. And let's get them going. Come on, Marie Chan, let's lead the way. Oide. So I really hope everyone enjoyed today getting to see some of our cheesy dog tricks performed in Japanese by our lovely Papillon and got to see the variety of these Papillon. And you can see how easy it is to train your dogs and make everything fun for them and make it a game. And I hope you enjoy, hope we see you again. So as Marie would say, Jamata or until next time. So thank you very much.